Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another card video. We're playing with your next stamp products. We're playing with a stamp set called Home for the Holidays, and it's an adorable little set of birdhouses, and they're decorating for Christmas. I've seen this trick, Amy R does this all the time, where you can line up the stamps in the dies, in your Misty, put them on the door, stamp them in this position. I'm using the Your Next Stamp Black Olive ink, which is Copic friendly because we're going to do Copic coloring. I'm stamping it on Nina 110 pound cardstock and voila, <laughs> it stamps perfectly. And okay, so I'm not going to show you all of the Copic coloring. That's a lot. It took me several hours to do this and nobody wants to sit through that. Don't lie to me. Okay. So I'm only going to show you this, how I colored the wood. This is so gorgeous. I love this color. I wish I could replicate it and throw it in my house. Like this is the perfect blonde wood farmhouse wood color. I love it. I want it. I want to find it somewhere like this shade. So if anyone has a good warm farmhouse stain like this, please tell me what it is, what you would use, because I want to replicate this in my own home. These birds have a gorgeous wood home now. I used a little bit of turquoise and a little bit of like a reddish brown on the other house. I will have a Copic color map on my blog so that you can uh, get all of the colors. I, I wrote them all down. I just don't have them in front of me because I'm a terrible YouTuber. But this is a gorgeous, I think these are the low E40s, okay? And it is just a gorgeous, warm, tan color. It is just a nice beige. I love it. What you will see me do here is I've colored the base and the shading in my best try with Copic colors, okay? Copic markers, I did all of the coloring to the best of my ability. And it still doesn't look as deep as I think it could. So then I started breaking out my gold Faber colored pencils. And right now I'm using a brown colored pencil to add a little bit of shading. I also use a gray colored pencil. I used a lot of the colored pencils in their darkest, in the darkest shades to do the, the shading in this project, which just, I think, increases the depth of the image a little bit more. Um, and I also love the lines of colored pencil. And so I really like the combination of the two, um, the two coloring mediums together. I like the way that it turned out. So now that I use the die to line up my stamps, I should be able to overlay this die onto my birdhouses and cut them out without taking the dies apart. Isn't that awesome? I'm totally watching Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm addicted. It's not going to stop probably until after the new year. So I just, I'm just letting you guys know what I'm watching. So I'm breaking out my big old scoreboard and I'm scoring a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock. Cut this, the cardstock is cut to three and a half by four and three quarters and I'm scoring it every half inch straight lines, okay? I think this looks a lot like shiplap. So that farmhouse look like the, the birdhouses have. And I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp my tweet holiday greetings using my Mini Misty. I'm also going to pop up that whole panel with uh, white craft foam and double-sided adhesive. And then that's going to go on to my Simon Says Stamp Fog card base. I'm using Scotch 3M foam tape to pop up that gorgeous, gorgeous center house. That's my house. Those are my, those are my birds. <laughs> my birds live there and then the rest of you guys can claim the other houses. But I definitely picked the, the center house. I love that color. Anyway, I'm using Lawn Fawn glue tube to glue down my other two houses. And that's it. That is my card for today. I'm using my bone folder to make sure that my card is nicely creased. Um, I didn't add any shimmer to the card. Is that crazy? I think it looks really nice though. Um, follow me, follow your next stamp on social media. I love interacting with you in the comments. So please leave me a comment down below and Talk to you next time.